tone for the match. No, it's I not. don't know. I, I'm you, you, definitely you. dragging that. That is, <laughs> that is the least hype thing. But here we go. We're going to start so this So game one, up. they're going to opt for Smashville. And by keeping it such like a really nice and tight stage, I feel like playing around the platform is the key here. Of, like, like a king of the hill type match? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. That's a really good way of putting it, Louis. Um, fantastic There fun. is a lot going on. <laughs> Yeah, so many different exchanges. MGW and Venue are both going with the respect of falling down is, and that is exactly what I meant by those commitments to the back air off stage. That is gonna be the biggest thing in punishing Bowser's recovery. Just the fact that you can slightly drag down with the back air and just the fact that it doesn't send that necessarily the most pleasant angle. Right, um, I, I feel like the fact that Greninja's got a lot of multi-hits, it makes it easier for your like teammate to follow ooh. up with your own multi-hit. Yep. Speaking of the two Greninjas, obviously. And like again, that's something XL has to be so wary of. Like of course that up be dealing so much damage, but if the other opponent it's not wrapped up in it or is maybe a little too far off stage, they will they can and will with punish you for that up beat. Right. I, I know that's what something um, like once MGW, again. yeah, he, he he always when I play Dubs, he always makes that a, a big focus. Always punish like really laggy hits and hits your teammate. And right there again, Venya committed to the back of off stage against Exile, the second death he to back of like that. Right down to one stock. But uh, Yoshi's still at three, so this is actually even in terms of stocks. And you see, uh, who's the Black Greninja? Oh, uh, that's MG Double. Okay, and right. Allegrius is always Venya. Okay, okay. Um, I feel like this would be anybody's game with uh, Bowser. Like, he gets confirmed off anything off Yoshi, like. Mm -hmm. But it looks like there's a lot of team attack going on between them. Really beautiful parry from Exile, but MGW is still able to reverse the pressure. And I love the fact that he came to run for, to uh, Venya's assistance. Yoshi's himself. had him at the ledge for a while now. Yeah. And it's so smart from MGW just to go run and help his teammate rather than try to get the kill on, a, oh, on uh, Exile. Look at that. Oh, that, that was definitely worth it. And there goes this. this I'm just assuming share stock if he doesn't die right here, and he is dead. Yeah, and this is going to be super, super tough. Like, would you think he should just SD? Okay. Guess not. He's going to he's gonna try it. Yep. And honestly, Yoshi is that kind of a character that can net an early kill with one offstage exchange, like with a forward or maybe like a really deep commitment to back out. But Jesus Christ. These guys literally have like amazing synergy. Like this looks fake. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but for what it's Look at worth... This. Miles like able to drift in between the attacks really bu brilliantly and just is able to like subvert as much damage as possible. Right. What? He just sat there and teabagged in between the hits for like three seconds. That was gangster. If I've ever seen gangster in my life. Dude, this is terrifying. It's like booby traps everywhere. What's even happening? They're both. They're all smiling. They're all having a good time with it. Miles not do it again? I knew it. Yeah. <laughs> Betty at MGW laughing. I would have, I would have too. That was absolutely hilarious. Um, damn. That shot, those shadows were not sneaky. They were just, they were just out there. Wow. Um, so going into game two, I feel like, man, recovering against Double Green Ninja as Bowser seems so, so difficult. Does he play any other characters? I have not seen anything else from him today. I wouldn't want him to switch because he's still... I think Bowser's just ridiculous and I think, Yep, I think Bowser's ridiculous too, but the way that Bowser functions just by, you know, getting the most... By getting the most out of, like, his really, really high commitment moves, like up B, he was getting punished for it, he was getting right. killed for it. But XL sticking with his Bowser, I feel like in this set, maybe we're going to be seeing a little bit more grabs to try to armor through um, any potential incoming attacks. And maybe more falling aerials, like forward air. Right. I think he needs to be smart with the up B. Make sure that when he does it, it's not going to be him getting punished, but his teammate getting a follow-up. Like, just be very aware of the position. Yeah. And uh, right away, uh, Yoshi doing Yoshi things. Mm -hmm. well, it's like uh, Bowser's just trying to keep Greninja off, but Greninja does sneak by to save... Uh, other Greninja. I'm sorry, I cannot keep up with all the tags. Yep. So. <laughs> and that is exactly what I mean. I feel like those brilliant, it's exactly as I said, like, you see Exile going through more grabs, you see Exile going through more of those forward airs, and as a result, he, did, he didn't get any punish at all through those high commitment moves, right. but the up smash trying to catch a uh, landing. That was a good, uh, it was like, if it, yeah, if, if it missed, I was, I'm probably not going to take too much, like, 
Yeah. But if it hit, like, that might be the kill. Ah, uh, unfortunately, the push, pushing Exile away, the, unable the to connect the grab block. Oh, very, very nice uh, anti-air with mm -hmm. the reverse up tilt. Yeah, Bowser's pivot cancel up tilt just covers, like, this huge arc of impenetrable space. So difficult to challenge or contest with. MGW getting the successful aggressive landing with the back out. Shadow sneaking off, but Exile ready to punish oh. the upbeat with the throw out. Matt just starting off. Oh, he's going to die for that. Yeah, yep. that's what I mean. Like, he should have had upbeat there knowing that his teammate just flung across the stage. That was guaranteed that. His teammate has to be there to support him to either yep. knock him out of the, the lag of it or just to make, keep the other opponent off. Exactly. Um, this match going a lot different. Venya uh, already uh, about to lose another stock. Yep. Mm -hmm. And Yoshi still at 109. That, that's a, that, I don't want to say that's healthy, but he can, he can keep Beautiful that for a Beautiful double parry though. Um, able to subvert the pressure. Unable to find the landing against MGW quite yet. And that is a fantastic stock for the mile. Um, Venya sitting at his last. This is a complete turnaround from the last game. They're sitting at an advantage of 5-3, to three, and both of them acting as stock tanks. Yoshi right. still living. I think that's a very, very good idea to keep Bowser. Uh, like, let Bowser be aggressive and have Yoshi yeah. be, like, the, uh, the stock holder. Mm -hmm. Because Bowser, like, again, very dangerous in dubs. Because it's not a lot of spacing going on, and, like, he can really take advantage of that yep. with big, big, meaty hits. And I also really just want to say I love the way that Mile is treating Yoshi offstage against Double Greninja. He is waiting for the perfect time that his double jump armor will be able to go through both of those back ends and is able to get it consistently. I've already seen it come out of multiple times. Right, that is very smart. You know, he has to get the stock off of Bowser. Oh, and he SDs trying to ah. kill Bowser, so... Bringing it back to an almost even game, but... Um, uh, exiled and Miles still sitting at a very hefty stock lead. Right. We know this is going to be the lead trap scenario. Venia not choosing to burn his double jump. He just, you know what, I'm going to get back onto stage. Very Try. nice going between everybody to get that fair on Bowser. Mm -hmm. I also feel like maybe Venia and MGW could try to make the most out of their counters in this kind of a matchup. Maybe. Um, especially like when you see like Bowser, okay, he's up being Bowser, okay, he's neutral being. Run up and counter it because you might be able to just like sweep across the stage and get a fantastic punish. Beautiful up smash, I believe that came from MGW. Right. Yeah, that was very good. They're playing a lot uh, more safe. Like they're really trying to take as little damage as oh, he tried the counter there and it didn't work, but he was there to cover him. Very smart. Yep. And oh, there that's are, it right there? Did you give an earpiece to them? <laughs> and are you coaching? Nah, they just they're, they're just a lot smarter than I am. And honestly, Right now, <gasps> almost getting oh, the back here, which might this have is been actually, stuck. Right, this is actually uh, pretty close considering how the match started out. Yep. <gasps> and oh. that's the, the uh, that's the vibe check. This that's is like, definitely still winnable. He just has to find a way to take off the stock of Exile, but you see Exile being the one to play back and letting just Miles take over all the ledge trapping, which I think is the best idea. You know, if Exile takes this, that's just like... If loses the stock, you know, it's just putting unnecessary risk. Right, that's like Dubs 101. You like, know? Oh. oh my god. He lived he that? He really wants to get this stock. What a recovery. Oh. What? Oh my god. Okay, so two things just happened there. First of all, MGW was able to get the most precarious angle. Okay. He was able to get the most precarious angle of Uppy I've ever seen. Because that was like... That was, that was kind of nuts. That was like a really cool mix-up. It just looked really funky. Uh, but then he died to a Florida off the top. Hmm. Wait, I, I, I'm loving this uh, set so far. Close. We're at 1 1 right now. Hype. I kind of want the reset. This dubs is really cool. We got no service here. We need four. We have, we have five. But yeah, so going into game three of the set, um, man, I feel like so so Exile was able to get one of those down air kills again. Great play from him. Right. I feel like Venya might have been able to just be a little bit more attentive on ledge. Um, he just has to be wary of the fact that okay, this cannon will spike me. This cannon will kill me. Um, I think they could have also gotten too comfortable after game one because, as you saw, like as it as the match progressed, they started playing safer and safer. Like okay, we actually could lose this. So we might see a little bit of that gameplay starting from yep. the beginning in, in this match. 
and they're just able to convert off of each other so much. Venya able to get the back here, but I love the fact that he just went to go and run in and help MGW out instead of continuing to ledge trap or, or pressure mile. You know, he was like, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna right. go help my teammate. I'm he's Oh is stage. he dead? Oh my god. He he just Ooh. had him on the stretcher and back through him. Oh my god. For for a stock. Oh, and he gets the kill right back. And he was almost actually launched. Had Exile anticipated the early up B coming from Greninja, he might have been able to up B a little bit farther to the left and be actually knocked up by the wind box. Right. To the Yup, and then he would have yeah. been able to drift back. But coulda, shoulda, woulda, coulda. Shoulda, right. woulda, coulda. Oh um, my, what a conversion to get that back air. I and love the recovery back onto the platform from MGW. Really, really smart stuff. Again, like Bowser on his last stock, but Yoshi still on three. Wait, how is he already on his last stock? He got hit with, uh, I think he was at like 40, and he got back aired all the way over oh there. Oh my god. But Mayo and Exile able to actually take the stock advantage. Oh, is he dead? No, he is not. Not quite yet. Not quite yet. Able to Yoshi's get the down still at three stocks. Oh, what a, what a test. And honestly, because Bowser is such a big body, you can't commit to those down airs since you have like a really good sense of like where he's gonna be and when. And even if the down air doesn't connect, you can still you have enough time to up the afterwards. So I really love the options from Venia there. Mile keeping oh. up the pressure, but how did he die? Yeah, no, I, him, him hitting the Greninja's extend, extended the hitbox, and it unfortunately hit ah, his teammate. Venia with the SD, maybe anticipating attack onto the stage, but just air dodging to his death. But just like that, they uh. They lost the lead pretty quickly. Yep. These matches are going by really fast. Absolutely. Um, I am not entirely sure about that up B from MGW. I'm not entirely sure what his intention was behind that. Exile trying to get the Bowser Bomb. And actually, I've noticed that in the set so far, they haven't been able to land any of those Bowser Bombs. Right. I, I was actually going to say that. I was thinking maybe it's like this Greninja just being too slippery. Wow. MGW has to find a way to land. Venya going with the aggressive landing and stock? not sure how Exile lost the oh, stock. He is not going to share the stock. They're going to opt to let him do the 2v1 with two stocks. Oh, just is like he going to share stock here? I feel like if there was any time, this would be the time now. But honestly, I would... Mm. I mean, he's doing fine. Like, uh, I think he should have this, but if they lose, like that's going to... A 1v1 with Venny is not what we want to be, especially just considering how <gasps> he's able to double jump armor through the forward air. And that is something that Venny has to be ready to mix and adapt to. Okay, he's just checking his phone, checking his tweets, you know, while his teammates are just doing a 1v1 with 160%. That's the jab. Really smart use of the shuriken, though. Great recovery mix up. Oh, just very that. nice. The reverse up tilt into the up air. Would that only work if it was reversed? I... I am not sure in the slightest, but let's get a replay on Maybe that. I think what it is is that he gets hit with it so late that he's able to react with the jump. What? That it hit all the way around? Right. I think if he was looking the other way, it would have... What? Look, he was low profiling too. I know what it is. There's no hitbox in the front of up tilt. If he would have looked the other way, it would have went. the tail would have went through him. What in the world? Why does that connect? Well... Regardless, I feel like it was a fantastic play for Mile. Just great awareness to be able to connect something like that. Right. But, man, I don't know how to feel about any of that. I also w really want to commend Mile for actually crouching under Venya's second shuriken. So smart of him to opt for the low profile. There's such great awareness. And it's something I, I, I don't even think about when I look at Yoshi, his low profiling. Is it like one of the better ones in the game? Not particularly, but just like he was like, you know what? Even it's though enough for sure. It's enough, yep. It's enough just to, because anything like an extra shuriken just might have been enough to throw off his timing, to throw off his rhythm. Okay. Um, and that's like the biggest thing like with those interruption tools like shuriken. And that is going to be the jab lock. They tried to connect the shadow sneak after the uh, the jab, jab, down tilt. Unable to find it, though. Uh, I have not been paying attention. And it's, they're, they're both at high percent. And both Greninja is looking very healthy. Um, Ooh, there goes Bowser. I can't help but believe that was a little bit of suboptimal. Yeah, being the, yeah, the, the heaviest like he character in the game. That looked ridiculous. Yeah, especially just considering his angle as well. 
from that entire issue would happen to cleaning up Miles stock and right now completely different from MGW and Fu that MGW and Venia. Both of them sitting at three stocks. Neither of them are at particularly high percents. MGW able to get the dash attack double back it. It feels like the Greninjas are like hitting with fast, like paper hits, but like when uh the other team I, I can never get their tag. They're just like they land hits and it hurts. Like, look, they're already dead. Yeah. You hear the good up the out of shield. I, good I know, punish on the parry. Right. Just because, like, you know, falling neutral is normally safe. But Exile was just, like, so ready for that option. Like, he was like, okay, you know what? They always do falling aerials. I'm just gonna parry. I have the timing down. I have that muscle memory. I think he should try to look for other punishes, maybe, like, an up tilt or something. Because, again, he keeps getting punished for, like, his up B's out of shield when his uh, teammate isn't ready. Oh, is he dead? Okay, he's oh, alright. not quite yet. I think and he meant to drag him down farther. What just happened? Oh my god, beautiful down tilt into forward air from MGW. And definitely, like, no stranger to connecting that on something like Bowser. I love that from MGW. He knows, like, okay, he's gonna throw out an option with armor. I'm gonna land with forward air, which is normally a lot more committal. But it has enough knockback and damage that it will break through the armor. So fantastic stuff from MGW, I feel like, on his landing. Oh, he could have been mashing. I don't know. Sorry. And that falling neutral has just been doing so much in just terms of, like, setting up, oh like, the enemy. Looking like a 3v1 against Bowser. He's just getting hit by everything at this moment. Yeah. He's, every time Venya goes to that downer off stage, I think he's dead. Mm -hmm. But Venya knowing that he's not at high enough of a percent where that he would run out of his invulnerability quite yet. Beautiful. Oh my god. Very such a clean game. And this is going to be a game five. Grand finals and losers. Venya and MGW. All they need is one more and they will take the prize for themselves. But if Mile and Exiled get this, that is going to be the bracket reset and potentially up to five more games. Yeah, we've got MGW and Venya trying to defend their turf against the invaders. Against the invaders. Um, this set, I feel like MGW and Venya had so much synergy. Just like calling out. And they, they had so much synergy, but they were also playing really reservedly as well. I feel like they weren't over committing when they had, didn't have to. And I feel like they were shutting down a lot of Miles' game plan as well. Right. Where Miles likes to keep you juggled. Miles likes to kill you with, like, you know, his up tilt or F tilt up airs. Um, you know, they just didn't find that at all. Right. So, like, in that match, like, I've noticed, uh, Bowser would lose all his stocks fast, but in that last match, they kept, they were both like getting racked barely at the same pace that time. Yep. So, game five, MGW and Vanya still have that energy, fist bumping each other. Alright, this is it. They're going to be going to Battlefield. Um, I feel like there's going to be a lot of juggling going on, all the platforms. Yes, sir. Here. And. Venya just doing falling forward four times ago on Exiled, Exiled having none of that and slapping him for it. Oh, uh, is he dead? He is dead. And that, is, that is exactly how you want to start. I wonder if that, that might have been the laggiest throw he could have done there. But. I mean, all of Bowser's throw have like so much armor, but Maybe they also have like throw? a really strong hitbox in front of them. Okay. Which just makes it so difficult to punish and contest that you can still commit to those like oh, he's laggy options. Him. He's got to save him. He's, he's dead. Oh, he's, okay. oh beautiful smart. up air for Mile. I love that. Just ready to come to his teammate's assistance. Great stuff. Yeah, that right? double hydro pump could be uh, quite the move. Uh, see, just like you were saying, the uh, the hitbox on the. What is that down throw? Oh, fourth. That was fourth, though. Yeah. MGW able to get back onto the stage with the Shadow Sneak, ready to get up attack the, uh, the down air there. Oh, there goes another stock. Uh, Vanya already off. And they're able to get the first stock off on... Uh, I don't know if you noticed that, but like, uh, Bowser got hit to the top towards Yoshi. Yoshi up airs and kills his teammate. Not huh. sure uh, what happened there. <gasps> and Exile's shield is looking so, so tiny right now. I can't help but suspect that a shield break is imminent unless he finds a way to play back and just avoid a little bit of damage. Ooh, the up tilt is not going to kill. Wow, oh, but the forward air will. Then yeah. you're committing to it, out and off stage. Maybe trying to snatch an early stock, able to still get back. Yeah, Venya's trying to clearly um, 
make up for this deficit. Ooh, very nice. Get, catches both of them and gets the stock off Yoshi. Ooh, friendly fire there. Beautiful. I, I really like that direction of Airdash from Exile. All game, he's been like, sort of like, landing aggressively. And so he does just a really excellent mix up. Even if it's a laggy option, it was definitely not something anticipated. So I just love that conditioning and mix up. Um, MGW. Kyle is doing an amazing job right now. Like, he's literally, like, whenever, like, uh, one tries to help the other, he's fighting both of them. Yep. MGW not choosing to continue his up air string, just choosing to Ooh. land back down. I love that falling up air. Maybe so, that's so why good. He hasn't been Bowser bombing. But that was the first time I've seen it. He gets hit out of it instantly. Yeah, and instantly taking MGW stock. This is really, really dangerous. MGW has to find a way to get back. Mile trying to get a forward air, maybe trying to read a drop down from ledge. Unable to find it, though. They could. I think their best bet is trying to take the stock from Bowser. And we've seen he will not share stock, so it would probably be another 2v1. And there he goes. And, and, oh and my god, and Mile finally one. finds a forward on his ledge. And once again, we're going to have a 1v1, just as you said, between Mile and Venia. But I feel like Venia is only at 62%. This is looking a whole lot better. Um, right. And Venia going to Long Island frequently fighting plenty of Yoshis like um, Raptor and uh, Suarez, so he's no stranger to this matchup whatsoever. That, that's why I feel like he, the sheer stock seems like the smartest thing, to me at least, because 60% Venia is like... Beautiful. Oh, there we go. oh, what a job block. Just a call out on the missed tech. And if anybody he teched it, Venia could just react and try to get a tech chase. Almost setting up another tech chase scenario, but unable to find the upper. You know what? That was so smart from Venia just now because he knows that's going to set oh, up. Is he dead? Oh. oh. I think because he nared, he, was, uh, he couldn't grab the ledge, and that's what killed him. And that is going to be the bracket reset. Game 5 bracket reset. My head is hurting. Don't you love uh, those? Yes, he gets to target me anymore. You up. Oh. Yeah, he doesn't exist now. Let's fucking go. We're going to have to censor that. Triple X, baby. <laughs> Man, I feel like if right. did an SD, that was definitely in the realm of possibility. But really, really amazing play from Exile and Mile. Now meaning that they've officially taken a set from MGW and Ju uh, MGW, MGW and Venue. And Jewel. Oh I'm so used to saying like MGW Jewel. and Jewel, like Venue and Jewel, because they're usually the two that team together. Um, but yeah, so going into game. Back to 0-0. Zero, zero. Back to 0-0. Zero, zero. Choosing to opt for Battlefield once again. again. And I love that Venia, I mean, MGW is starting off the set with just like an up tilt. Maybe he was trying to read a drop down from Exile potentially. Mile already looking to close out the stock with those four days. Oh my goodness. <gasps> Not able to find the spike quite yet. And that was a 50 50 scenario if Venia recovered low. Oh my goodness. Here they go fighting back. Uh, it really does feel like King of the Hill sometimes. Like, whoever has, like, right now we've got Mile and Exile. Which. Control. And I love the, I love Exiles like just going really really deep, which just forces MGW to drift out uh, when he's recovering. See, every time he gets that Bowser bomb, the up air comes in from uh, the other Greninja. Yeah, I definitely see like Is he dead? Yep. beautiful stuff. He tried to save him, but that that conversion happens so fast. Oh, he's gonna spike him. <gasps> yep. I wonder if he could have followed up with an up air while they were both in the up beat. That would have got him the kill. But uh, gets the kill anyways from his uh, opponent. Ooh, parries the down air, but tries to punish with a, a B. Not going to work with a bounce up. A fantastic call out on MGW's landing from Exile. He's like running up and up air like him. Like a full hop up there. Really I, think, I think MG has to help uh, Venya sometimes. Venya will be stuck on that ledge against Mile for a long time. Ooh. Yeah. Mile, oh. Mile's ledge trapping is menacing. It's it's ridiculous. I, I always thought uh, Greninja would be good off the ledge, but he's doing Not a against really Yoshi. great job. Yoshi just like stays on top of you and just contests so much of how you want to get back. Ooh, maybe trying to get some type of grab release for his teammate combo, but couldn't work out because you had a. Uh, MGW breathing on his back. 
Ooh, nice conversion. I like that. Uh, Bowser going for the up smash, seeing his uh, teammate ready yep. to watch his back. Um, and so right now, MG Dub, uh, Venia able to get a really, really, uh, I'm not sure about these, ooh, now that is a fantastic down nice. That was so good, and I How love the fact that he drifted out and is able to get out of, like, the range of threat for a mile. I think this was definitely the time to take a stock from, uh, from his teammate. Um, XL can definitely do quite a bit here. Right, in terms of, a uh, comeback factor. Oh, that's gonna... <gasps> what did you just parry F smash? Why? That was great. I loved it. Uh, okay. He might have got the percentages mixed up. That could be a thing too. Yeah, that's that's possible. It's so difficult to focus on which like, but I think he got the weak hit of the F smash. Right. Okay. F smash. He, that's who knows what could have happened. I didn't know that happened. had a weak hit. I'm pretty sure it does. Like a late hit. Maybe, maybe I'm capping. I could be completely incorrect. Yeah, he was at like ten, so I wouldn't I wouldn't yeah. expect too much. Oh, he yeah. almost kills his teammate with that fair. Guess it. Oh. And right now, it's going to be so difficult for Mile to come back off stage against. Like, if he gets Venya, I mean uh, MG, he has a chance. Both of them just. Oh. Is he okay. purposely trying to counter his teammate? Yeah. Because they can just sweep across the stage, and that is killing off the top. And I will unfortunately have to be off of commentary. I have a single set to play. I will see you guys a little bit later, hopefully in winners, top 16, top 8. And I'll see you guys really, really shortly. We're gonna go into game one, and we now have Bars joining me on commentary. Hey, yo, what's good, people? What's up? So, what is the set looking like right now? Um, it's very explosive. Uh, oh, we have the first ha Sheik. Okay. Um, that is the first switch. Yeah, I saw him. I saw him playing the Bowser before. I'm guessing maybe he was due for a change. He was losing his stocks really fast, and uh. Yeah, sometimes there'll be situations where Yoshi's still at three and Bowser would be gone, like just out of stock. Okay. So I guess that might be the thing they're going for. But I did like Bowser's uh, comeback factor he, because he's just so such meaty hitbox. His teammates there to save. Oh, yeah. very hard S match going off the ledge. Yeah, and you know, well, like you were saying, you're just talking about big hitbox coming out from Bowser, and it just looked like you know Exiled went for a fair and didn't get there in time. And I feel like maybe Bowser's hitbox would have extended faster and farther and gotten that save that he wanted. Right. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about the switch, but uh, I'm not the one in uh, Grand, so... Yeah. Probably preferring a little bit more mobility. Um, but right now, it just seems like uh, they're really they're really punishing Mile um, for anything that he's doing. It's like they're getting, getting up on him and ignoring Exile. Right, that could be it. But uh, there, here we go, they both got the edge guard going on to see if they get anything off this. Actually gets reverse edge guard and going out to try to get his own edge guard. Yeah, he went for the needles bouncing fish, I'm surprised they didn't hit it. And exiled with the forward smash kill. Oh no, my goodness. Mile is so good at ledge trapping. Like, it's ridiculous. Even with one breathing down his neck, he's always ready. Yeah. Uh, especially in doubles where the game, most of the game takes place at the edge. Uh, Yoshi's and those long lasting hitbox definitely do damage. Right. Uh, let's see what uh, um, MG can do with it. Oh, he, he opts to leave uh, Sheik alone, like you said. Yeah. He, he left Sheik off the stage and went to help uh, Venya with uh, Mile. Yeah, because if you think about it, Yoshi's really the hard hitter in this circumstance, right? Yeah. So their first priority is probably just to get rid of Mile's stocks and then deal with Exile later because Sheik doesn't really have that, that much comeback after compared to Yoshi. Yeah, Mile's st stocks seem to be very valuable. Like, he sticks around for a long time, usually. And like in this match, doing a really good job. I think it was the first time he's been dying first in uh, yeah. Exile. But I'll say, but I'll say though, they're doing pretty well right now, and it just seems like uh, Exile's taking the approach of tacking on most of the damage, um, and almost stock taking it away, even though he's down in stocks right now. They actually have the lead right yeah. now, as it stands. Yeah, yeah. And uh, you know, you know what I think also is, also works out for him. Um, he could edge guard them a lot better and a lot more efficiently without getting reverse edge guard. Uh -huh. Bowser goes out there, try to edge guard, he gets reverse edge guard like nothing. Sheik, not so much. Right, yeah, she's very definitely a hard character to edge guard. Getting any hit on Sheik feels like, oh, yes. 
Oh, ooh, so he's not dead. Okay. Oh, but with the down tilt? Okay. This is what I mean. He keeps them. Like, he gets so much damage whenever he gets any of them off stage. And he just jab grabbed uh, Venya at the point. Oh, the F smash what? killing his teammate. Was that worth? Definitely not, in my opinion. Okay, right now, um, it seems like they're in a slight lead. Slide of Venya's go. Right. And right now, you see Mile just fishing for those kills no matter where you are. Whenever somebody is hitting Exile, he's right behind them trying to get that kill because they're both at kill percent right now. Oh, is that going to... Okay, it's not going to kill, but very close. Any good meaty hit right here will we'll get rid of uh, Venya's stock. Leaves him alone to help out, uh, and it comes right back. Yeah. yeah, and that added mobility helping him out there. You know, I feel like if that was, that was Bowser in that situation, could have easily gotten reverse Edgar and not gotten what he wanted. Right, it, it might have been like the inconsistency of the team that they did not like about Bowser. Oh yeah. He's either dying fast or killing fast. Yeah, and... That's gonna no, not kill. No, not from across the stage. He's stalling with the, with the counter. Mm -hmm. That's gonna kill this time, yep. Yeah. And that team, you know, and that character switch worked out for them. Um, very well. Yeah. Um, if MG and Venya cannot figure this out in time, that's going to be the set. Mm -hmm. Because I don't think they figured out Mile yet. Mile has been doing phenomenal with this Yoshi. It's looking insane, actually. Yeah. Um, and now and now with the added fact that Mile doesn't have to babysit Exile, um, he can kind of just like mash in the middle of the stage, which is what Yoshi does very well. Right. Um, it seems like this could be, that could be more of a problem for Venya and MG Red moving forward. So. You know, good, you know, good switch, man. You know, good, good frame of mind. You know, it, it, now that I think about it, yeah, Yoshi and Sheik, did, Double Greninja loves to oppress you and just, like, just annoy you off stage. But these are two characters. Yoshi super armor through all the back airs and everything. And it, it's very tough to uh, impose your will on these two characters. Yeah. Here we go into game seven. Because this is true finals. Yeah. Of the reset. Yeah, the reset was on uh, game five. Um, yeah, right now, going to town and city, and uh, I know it's a stage that the Greninjas do like. The platforms do lend them more a, a lot of extensions. Can we talk about the Forge Smash I, I feel <laughs> like he might have tried to jump, drop down fair, and you know how some you get Forge Smash, but yeah. I could be wrong. Uh, he could have seen his Jesus. teammate. Yeah, his teammate was covering the bottom half, so he probably thought, let me just... Again, maybe, yeah. Charging yeah. another F-Smash. Ooh, and these force smashes coming out from Exiled, man. He's he's almost 100% with these force smashes at the ledge. Oh, oh my goodness. A uh, little friendly fire coming in. Team combo. And it almost looked like Yoshi had armored through part of the F-Smash or it fell out. Yeah, I think he would have fell out because he was in the middle of a uh, bear. And Venya going out there and in, in, uh, edge guarding Exiled. Yeah, we're... Uh, they got the lead back. Both had two stock 0%, but so not the craziest lead. Anything can happen to at this point. Okay. Ooh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, got the jab look off the footstool. A little, a little moving going on. A lot of smoothing going on. That's, my, that's, my, that's why I love dub. I, I love dub things. Yeah, a lot of smoothing and grooving. Both Greninjas in center stage. That, that's like the scariest thing in dub. Mm. And, I, and, and one thing that they are doing, I think they're respecting them a little bit more. You, you saw you saw in game two try to bully them a little bit more, and it wasn't working out for them. They weren't catching Sheik, and they couldn't really bully Yoshi the way they wanted to, right? Big body, tank through some hits. And right now, they're respecting both the characters. They're giving, giving them their space. Uh, taking it one hit at a time. You don't want to yeah. get uh, overzealous over yeah. anything. And, um, yeah, right now... Uh, Benji yeah, doing a really good job holding through stock. And I, and I do like the sense that they were taking. Um, you had Benny in the middle of the stage, you had MW at the end of the stage. Kind of trying to keep them at the ledge as best they can. But. Right. Well, both of them in a different advantage stage. Yo, Yoshi, nice job. Yoshi at the top of the stage, though, not dying at 100. Excuse me. Oh, he's taking him for a ride, uh, Benny. Who gets the up smash again? Now, why do you think Exile is getting so much, so many of these uh, forward smashes? I have no idea. <laughs> I, I feel like I get caught with that too because you're so scared of like jumping near all these jumping options she has. Mm -hmm. So you're air dodging because you don't want to get caught in a vortex. And then now he's charging F smash on your landing. 
I mean, yeah, man, great recovery's coming out from his out He's not getting edge guarded as frequently as he was, definitely as Belgian. Right. Yoshi's still surviving at 160. This is actually pretty much tied. Yeah. Ooh, and Yoshi, 172. Yeah. Okay. Benya just fighting both of them all. Oh, and oh great very nice. Oh, oh, great tech, not not the great recovery. Oh, very wow. nice. Okay. Oh, oh, let's go. They're, they're just throwing these hitboxes out. Yeah, Venio was an automatic right now. Just like, yo, you're at the ledge, I'm hit you. It doesn't <laughs> matter who you are. <laughs> Spray and pray. Yeah, non-discriminate mashing. <laughs> mashing everybody. Oh. Can he get to another F? Oh, uh, he should have F smashed. I don't know why he didn't, but uh, maybe he was nervous. He was going to hit his teammate. Yeah. And in this last stock situation, it's not something you want to do. Right. Look at that. Basically, even percents on, on both sides. This is, a, this is a, a, a very important game because uh, you will get into uh, winners on game point. Ooh, and just Benny have backed off of that punish on Exile, man. He should have died. Oh, here we go, the 2v1. Okay, now, here, now here's where one's going to hold the edge and one's going to hold the middle. Oh, very nice. I think he could have super armored through that. Yeah, and they're, they're, coming, in wave, they're coming in waves, man. You okay? can't. He's got to stop throwing those eggs. He got red on the egg throw like three times there. I think he was better off just uh, trying to super armor through the back air. Was he at too high percentage? Yeah, no, he was at high percent. Like, I, at that point, it didn't matter. At those backers at, at that percent, at that far off Would stage. He threw the, the double jump? Yeah, super even, armor? yeah, and even at that, even if he did armor through it at that point, um, he wouldn't have been close enough to recover. So okay. I feel like the eggs were like his last hit's option to hit one of them so he could recover easier. Like, that egg, if he, if he hit Venya coming out right there, he would have had a chance to recover. Okay. You didn't really have a lot of options. Like, right. <laughs> two frogs jumping at you and throwing out eight legs. Like, what? Eight yeah. million legs. Yoshi. I feel like fighting, like, double Greninja just like fighting Smash 4 Bayo. Like, you're just getting hit with so much. That's a very bold statement to make. I don't know if you want to. Do you, do you want to stand by that one? Triple up air. <laughs> triple up air off the top. You know, you're, you're getting edge, you're edge guard like crazy. But here we go. Game uh, seven. You go back to Bowser. What do you think about that? Uh, I don't know, maybe, I don't know. I mean, you know what, you know, like, the, the Sheik pick was a smart decision, I feel like, but they did get this far for a reason. Ah, uh, exactly. And again, they, they reset it with this team, no switches. Yeah. Oh, very, Ooh. this is what I mean. He can die early, but he can also kill you very early. And, you know, I think the dynamic from switching to Sheik, it back into Bowser, and now you have this heavy character just... Clearing. Oh. He foot to get the kill. kill. It could be, yeah, maybe he, he softened them up to play a certain way so that he can go back to Bowser and like now you have to readjust again back yeah. to the Bowser place. Now, now you can't mash on his shield like you can Sheik. Now this guy has crowd control buttons. What am I doing? He has forward air. It's like a huge sword. <laughs> Basically. Oh, very smart. He, uh, he saw his teammate get parry and threw the flame breath to stop any like punish from that parry. Yeah, yeah it's like great recognition coming off of this right. You can tell the team plays a lot. Yeah, that's my Ooh, can we talk about that? You can also tell that, of course, we all know, New Yorkers know, Venya and MG have great synergy. Oh, yeah, they're the double fiends. They're the double fiends of New York. Oh, okay. Trying to defend their homeland. Ooh. I, I do like that F smash. I respect that. Yeah, I that. respect that so hard because you want to try to extend your lead at that point. Yeah, and like Mal I was saying earlier, look at the stocks. Three stocks on Yoshi, one on Bowser. Yeah, man. And the stock tank, I mean, look, right now Miles playing the part of the stock tank, which is fine. Yeah, definitely. You died. Oh, is he dead? No. That was so smart. He was like, he could have went on the top platform, but he thought, let me get this extra percentage, land on top of... Uh, and I, I think I think uh, Venny was going for that. I think he was kind of aiming to up air, up air him, and get him out of it, and he knew that and smooth, slightly moved. Right, I think that's the first time they got it successfully because uh, in the other match, every time the Bowser bomb would start, the other would come with the up air, and that was a very important time you want to get that because then you saw he lost the stock for that. But uh, Ooh, right there, that was it. In this situation, believe it or not, if Bowser dies, I'm pretty sure he is not going to tear stock. I mean, I'm willing to put money. He should. That's what I feel, but uh, he just doesn't. They, he, he's only shift stocked once in the very many opportunities he's had. Oh, that parry up B. Okay. Well, they're both going for. Uh, oh no. Okay. Yeah. Ooh, that's, that's air with a kill. Yo, the MGW just trying to get off. 
off the ledge with Bowser just bearing him like that. Oh, that. Oh, and Yoshi died. And then now it's a 2v1 again. Oh, yeah, and Yoshi's going right after MGW. <laughs> my, so my. It has to. Okay. Yeah, MGW staying back, which is smart. Okay, okay, he's just running out. Doesn't of even care. He doesn't even want to mask the fact that he wants to kill MGW. He yeah. wants you to know. Yeah. And MGW just doing any option doesn't matter. He's gonna reset. I'm not think gonna a take good any mix chances. up would be to go for Venya here and then because Venya might get too comfortable and not be ready to see. Like right here, he, he's just he may not have been ready to look out for hitboxes. Ooh, oh no, that would have been huge. Oh, you do not want to get set up for a Oh my god, again. okay. And, yeah, he's going for his up smash. And right now, they're both playing kind of apprehensive. So he threw that up smash, and the other player didn't retaliate at all. Right, I think I think uh, MG's playing very, like, scared. Like, he's, he does not want to get killed. Oh, this might be death? No, no. I'm crazy. They did not time that correctly. No! Here we go. We've seen this one-on-one -on -one many times. And usually it's two stocks to one in terms for a mile, but... Oh, he went for the jump read. Okay, right now. Oh, he yeah. might. Nope. Not yet. In rage? You got down to that at 90 with your engine rage. You did not die. I respect it. I'm glad. That would have been ridiculous. Ooh. Yeah, that anti air, man. Can't be landing on Yoshi like that. Ooh. And Yoshi just trying to get him out of his shield because he knows he can't really kill him while he's holding shield. So that's why he's doing a lot of running around, he's trying to catch like maybe a jump or something. Then he going, oh, oh, that's going to be a death. Yep. That last of the back air, man. Here we go. Game nine. <laughs> Very long, grueling dubs grand final. Yeah, and you know what it is? I, I, I really feel like in, the, in those last, um, last hit situations, like, I know you want to preserve your stock as MGW, but I feel like the apprehensiveness kind of costed them. Right. Because, like, Mile was just throwing stuff out. Throwing a, he was throwing an up smash, throw up smash like three times and did not get punished for it at all, right? Because he knew that MGW was not going to run in because he didn't want to die. But you know at that you know at that point like you need to do it, man. You need to punish him for these crazy options because Mal at that point didn't really have a lot. He was two v one. He's throwing stuff out. You want somebody to die like, you know? Um, but right now they're um, deciding. And I see FD and Callus is the consensus fan, which is smart against Greninja. <laughs> so. Team yeah, we're gonna go to Battlefield. Ninja. Okay. Ninja. Oh, and he's going sheep the last game. Oh, the switch again, maybe last again. Grants. Maybe it's a stage thing also. It could be. Stage thing. Three, hmm. two, okay, um. Go! Okay, right now, um, last game 10. Um, grand finals, doubles grand finals. Oh, no, he did not get that up smash punish. That would have been devastating. Sheik might have died, actually. I am so I cannot find myself in the bracket. Um, yeah, right now, you have... Okay. Yeah, M MGW, MGW punishing, you know, exile for the risky option. And now we have a slight lead. Oh yeah, you know, and this in the sheet coming out, you know, the sheet does provide a lot of, you know, defense defensive factors. It can defend Yoshi a little bit better than Bowser. Um, and the double up smash, they both went for it. <laughs> both of them decided at that moment. And Venia just decided he was out. Okay. Um, yeah, and right now, Venia just, you know, keeping Mile at the ledge. MBW immediately leaving Eggs out to go edge guard the Yoshi because know, they know he's the big threat. Yeah, and great recovery coming out from Exile. Probably why he switched, but you know. Ooh. Wow, that that sucked. Um, got his comboed his own teammate into death and then took a forward smash. So still pretty close game, almost even, almost even in stocks. When Miles putting in work. Oh, okay, an MGW covering early, and I don't know what happened to Venya, but he died. So good stuff on Exile. Yeah. 
And right now, MGW doing a great job covering Venya's rear. And Exile just fighting his way out of the corner. And getting out of that situation, the, the jab, mix up the jab, jab, and just run away. Ooh, okay. Okay, Miles at very high percent, so he needs to watch his stuff. Okay, the up smash, good up smash coming out from Miles, poking through the platform. Ooh, and he chased him all the way off, killed him with the Nair. Good aggressions up coming out from Miles, and they do have the side advantage right now. And he did not die! Sweet spot that had that had been a weak spot for smash. I mean up smash, excuse me. And Mile at high percent. They, they need to take Mile stock. They need to take Mile stock right now. Okay, now take now take Exile stock. He's gonna now he's obviously gonna wait it out. Oh and that, oh and that oh my god and MGW missed that punish. That was costly. They needed that stock. Right now Miles at full capacity and now Exile is running amok, just running around throwing out buttons. Oh, he needs to die right here. Oh, and another missed punch coming out from from GW and Venio. Like Sheik needs to die. He needed to die yesterday. And now, now MGW, it's up to MGW to take both of these stocks. Ooh, and that Nair was risky. And now, now the problem is, now Exile's just gonna lay back and throw needles. Like there's not much he could do about it. Ooh, and he went for the Shadow Sneak. Don't get forward aired. Yeah. Yeah, and that's the set. And I mean, honestly, a lot of missed opportunities coming out from Benny and MVP, especially coming down the stretch, man. But, you know, Exiled and Mile kept it together. And especially Exiled coming out with the Sheik and the Bowser, the wherewithal to switch characters in the right situations after going, after resetting Bracket with the Bowser and then just having enough confidence to switch to Sheik in the middle of reset of Grand Finals. You know, good stuff coming out from, um, good stuff coming out from Mile and Exiled, man. Um.